Okay, so you probably know about the MGK and Eminem tussle. But did you know there was another white rapper who had a beef with Eminem way before MGK? Before MGK stepped into the ring with Eminem, Cage was the guy who dared to face off against Eminem in a hot rap battle. Some people even think he was the only white rapper who could hold his own against Lim Shady. But let's rewind. Before Eminem was packing stadiums and snagging Grammys, he was just a kid from Detroit with mad rhymes. And on the other side, we had Cage, a rapper from the underground scene, famous for his horrorcore vibes. Turns out Eminem's slim shady alter ego kicked off the whole feud. Accusations of copying each other's style were thrown around. So we'll dig into whether Eminem was really ripping off Cage, or maybe they just had similar creepy ideas. Today we're gonna be talking about the story of Eminem vs Cage. What up guys, Ali here and welcome to Ali Talks Music. Add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. Back in the 90s, hip hop had its own set of rules. Copying someone else's style was a serious no-no. And doing so could get you shunned in the industry quicker than you could drop a beat. That's why the beef between Eminem and Cage was pretty intense. Both of them were fighting to keep their unique style and reputation intact. But oh boy, how things have changed. The hip hop scene today isn't like it was before. With fewer gatekeepers now, we see rappers borrowing styles from each other like it's part of the job. It's very difficult to push out a rapper who's got a loyal fan base, always ready to support them, be it on Twitter, Instagram, or whatever social media they're into. Let's circle back to Eminem vs Cage. Their beef felt like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. But instead of guns, they were firing off insane lyrics. At the core of it all, Cage was not too thrilled about Eminem's slim shady persona. After all, Cage had been laying down dark rhymes long before Eminem. When Eminem began getting big, Cage felt slightly sidelined by the rap industry, watching Eminem rise with his style that he believed was his. What followed was an all-out lyrical brawl, something you'd see in a boxing match. M didn't hold anything back, poking fun at Cage's success and even his music. But Cage was not about to take this lying down. He hit back, accusing Eminem of stealing his style and selling out. Be able to tell. Anybody with half a brain is going to be able to know. Alright, now the other question that uh, somebody was asking is uh, something about a kid named Cage, is another guy named Necro. They, 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 they're two different? Like, well, they said that the guy named Cage that you battled, I mean, what, can you give me the background on that? Because I just found out about this. Um, actually, I never got a chance to battle him because uh, every time I showed up to battle him, he backed out. He wasn't there. He was nowhere to be this found. This Cage kid wouldn't show age up? Age kid. Let's not say, let's not give him any more press than he deserves. Um, we'll say age or rage or stage or gauge, whatever. In order to understand this beef, we need to go back to 1996 and 1997. In 1996, Eminem dropped his first album, Infinite. This was before he got together with Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine. But the thing is, that album didn't explode like people expected it to. M was still trying to establish himself in the rap world, and Infinite just didn't deliver. But around 1997, Eminem made a comeback with a new project, the Slim Shady EP. This is where things got interesting, cause that EP introduced the world to Eminem's slim shady persona, the mad, twisted, and darkly humorous personality that fans would grow to adore. Slim shady, brain dead like Jim Brady, I'm a M80, you little like that Kim lady. With the slim shady EP, Eminem found his rhythm and made a unique space for himself in the hip hop landscape, giving the world a glimpse of the brilliance that was yet to come. That EP paved the way for his future success, and it wasn't long before he joined forces with Dre and Iovine, rocketing to fame and forever altering the rap scene. All this began with Eminem embracing his inner child, letting his slim shady persona take the center stage. So around 1999, Eminem dropped his debut album, and boom, he became a household name overnight, like some kind of rap fairy tale. Hi, my name That album completely turned his life around, no exaggeration. One moment, 
He was the guy battling it out on the streets, trying to make a name for himself. The next, he's an international sensation, selling out shows and earning the respect of other rappers. People could not get enough of Eminem's raw lyrics, insane flows, and unique sense of humor that set him apart from the rest. It was as if hip hop had never seen someone like him before, and that was the problem. Just a year before Eminem's debut album, Cage dropped a diss track targeting Eminem called a list four letter word. Cage went all in, accusing Eminem of stealing his style and using his rhymes. And here's what Cage rapped. History shows rappers die in the cars. They lost one in the West. We lost one in the East. Should I try Lake Mesh or fuck you in Miami Beach? Now the first and second lines of this section refers to the passing of Biggie and Tupac. Tupac and Biggie were shot in cars. And the last line of this section suggests that Cage was looking for different ways to end Eminem. Now Eminem is not the type of rapper to sit back and take that kind of disrespect. Eminem, being the savage that he is, hit back with a couple of tracks and freestyles. One of them in particular was Tony Touch's Power Cypher 350 MCs. Eminem says the following. I write a rhyme a day, so it's no wonder how come your whole album is sounding like a bunch of he even got on indigenous tribes, drastic measures, and said the following. I'm picking up Cage's sister early, went on stage and sprayed Cage with Agent Orange. In the same freestyle, Eminem also says, wiped my ass with his page in the source. Eminem's disses were sarcastic and witty, like he was roasting Cage on a comedy show. But the real diss that stuck in everybody's minds appeared on Eminem's debut album in 1999. The song we're talking about is called Role Model. This time Eminem was not fooling around. He took a subtle jab at Cage. In the song Eminem goes, That was Eminem essentially saying that Cage's music was not even worth listening to. There was also a Ken Kniff skit on the album that seemed to target Cage. Who's this? This is Ken Kniff. <laughs> Yo, who, who is this, Cage? And let's not forget at the time, Eminem was the more prominent artist fresh off the release of his debut album that blew people's minds. So not only was Slim Shady aiming at Cage with a persona that was supposedly stolen, but he was doing so from his position at the top of the rap game. Cage on the other hand, took things very personally. He dropped a diss track at Eminem called Illest Four Letter Word. This diss track was more serious than Eminem's. It had lines such as Bitch, walking through New York, looking for Cage. He then went on to call out Eminem's Slim Shady persona and referred to it as Bitch Lady. He even took a swing at Aftermath, saying I stole Dre Day from Dr. Dre. Now at first glance, you might think that the beef between Eminem and Cage was just about style theft. I mean, before Eminem's Slim Shady persona, Cage was doing his horror core thing. But was Eminem really stealing Cage's style? To figure this out, let's look at the facts. Firstly, Cage's horrorcore style came way before Eminem's Slim Shady persona. However, when Eminem mentioned his influences, they include Esham, Insane Clown Posse, Marilyn Manson, and even Ozzy Osbourne. And as you guessed it, there is no mention of Cage. As we delve deeper into this beef, maybe Cage was just more envious than anything else. Seeing Eminem rise to stardom with a style similar to his own, must have been hard for Cage to swallow. It's like watching your neighbor win the lottery with the same numbers you've been playing for years. It's got a sting. Now from personal experience, I can say that when someone is copying you, you can feel it. Other people might come up to you and say, nah, that can't be true. Or they might say something like, they're merely inspired by you. So the only person who truly knows if he was being copied or not is Cage. He probably deeply felt like Eminem was copying him, but to the rest of the world, he appears to be a cloud chaser. But as the saying goes, the only constant in life is change. Both Eminem and Cage began to transform their musical style. Eminem stepped away from the slim shady persona and leaned towards a more mature style. He became a global icon, while Cage on the flip side dived into the underground scene. Eminem went on to sell millions of records and dropped songs with the best in the business while Cage, on the other hand, grappled with personal issues, including a brain injury that forced him to take a hiatus from the music scene. But in true rap spirit, Cage made a comeback, releasing music under the pseudonym Sam Hill. The argument about Eminem copying Cage's style will probably never die. 
But at the end of the day, does it really matter? The music game is very fickle, and people only care about hits. Take Drake for example. Despite accusations of borrowing styles, it's undeniable that his music is loved by millions around the world. When it comes to who won the feud between Eminem and Cage, some fans think Cage was more lyrical, while others are solidly in Eminem's camp. However, if we look at the bigger picture, Eminem clearly had a more impactful career. Eminem still gets millions of plays to this day, while Cage, well, remains largely under the radar. I'm a huge Eminem fan, so naturally I'm on team Eminem, but if Cage did birth Eminem's slim shady persona, then hey, thank you Cage for helping Eminem deliver his best music ever. That's it for me, it's your boy Ali. What happened between Eminem and Cage in your opinion? Let me know down below. Also add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music. Till next time, peace. Mm -hmm.